Hey, welcome everyone. In about 45 seconds, on behalf of YouTube, Big Pharma, and the World Health Organization, George Orwell and I are going to be inviting you to disregard all 51 videos on my channel. But for now, welcome to upload number 52. We're closing in on 500 subscribers, which is to say that my content officially is equivalent to one drop of water in the ocean of YouTube content. But I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I love connecting with health conscious, health minded, health curious people like you. So really, thanks so much. So I'm just going to dive right into this one. It's a little different. My first 51 vids, forget I ever made them. What? Yeah. Yeah, just forget I ever made, disregard all that information. Oh, the natural healing stuff was just disinformation. No, 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 I'm all in on everything I've ever posted. Funny, you were Mr. Know-it-all before. Look, I know this sounds nuts. In all my videos, I make the strongest case for natural healing. I support all my uh, statements with uh, published studies and data. And I know I always talk about my observations with patients over 200,000 visits over nearly four decades and all that. But look, times, they are changing. And by changing, I mean YouTube recently updated its guidelines for creators. <laughs> they call them guidelines. Kind of sounds soft, you know, like little suggestions. <laughs> guidelines. Anyway, no more antiquated stuff like trying to build a bulletproof immune system through Things like exercise, fresh air, sunlight, great food, chiropractic, um, good thoughts, uh, good habits, good sleep. Nope, that's out. Time now to trust the experts. World Health Organization, uh, Big Pharma, Big Media, local health authorities. So let me pull out the guidelines. So YouTube's cracking down on, quote, misinformation, i.e. information that contradicts the WHO. So. No more questioning vaccine efficacy and safety. No talk of studies finding that vaccines prevent neither transmission nor contraction of COVID. No talk of herd immunity. You know, stuff like that. And I'll quote here from the hardcover version of the guidelines. The possibility of enforcing not only complete obedience to the will of the state, but complete uniformity of opinion on all subjects now existed for the first time. Oh, I always mix these up. Sorry. This is from Orwell's 1984. So in keeping with the guidelines, let's get this on the record right now. The World Health Organization, the WHO, not corrupt. Big Pharma, not corrupt. Big Government, not corrupt. Big Media, not corrupt. Okay? Got that? Good. And I want to start towing the line immediately. Pfizer Pharmaceuticals has nailed another one. Yeah, on October 25th, two weeks ago, they got the go-ahead from the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices to release a new vaccine. This one for meningococcal disease. Yay! Now, Pfizer does concede that it's an uncommon illness. Maybe just an oversight, but they forgot to publish the numbers on that. And because I like to be thorough, I did some research on it. Turns out there were about 200 cases in America last year. So, if you and three million of your closest friends get tested today, chances are two of you guys will test positive. By contrast, probably 250 million people have been in contact with COVID. Do you realize that the odds against tossing 20 straight heads or tails with coin flips is about a million to one. You literally have a better chance of doing that than testing positive for this disease. But anyway, the vax is out there if you wanna go for it. Otherwise, start flipping. Now I implore you, do not go back and review any of my previous uh, videos, especially the ones on Big Pharma's tricks with statistics and their studies, um, natural immunity, the incredible healing effects of functional mushrooms, the importance of vitamin D, um, statins. Okay, when stay away from all that stuff. If you're really hard-headed and stubborn like I am on this stuff, I still will leave a link to the real mushrooms, functional mushroom stuff in my description if, you, if you're insisting on checking that stuff out. Uh, it'll be there. 
With that, we'll see what happens with all this. The evening news will, of course, still spoon feed you the propaganda. I'm trying to envision going forward with my channel um, any health promoting topics that would be of interest to me and you that are at the same time in line with the World Health Organization's mandates. Hard to figure that those two would coincide. But when and if I do, I'm really excited to see you in the next one. So until then, keep your head on straight and yours in vibrant health, Dr. J.